Hi, I'm Chris Batley. And I'm Simon Wickenden. And today we're going to be talking about one of the recent changes that Oracle have made to uh, Java, and that is the changes they've made to the release cadence. Simon, can you give me some uh, insight into what that is? Yeah, sure. Um, so, what Oracle have done is they've actually changed how they release Java. They did that in September of 2017 uh, with the release of Java 9. Um, so what they've actually done, based on uh, requests from the application development community, uh, what, what was going on before is Java 6 was released in 2006, Java 7 was released five years later in 2011, but it wasn't even three years later when Java 8 was released. Um, and the application development community were basically saying that made it very unpredictable uh, so they didn't know when to put resource into doing major upgrades on their yeah, applications. That makes sense. So how have Oracle uh, changed this, changed the release cadence yeah. to make that easier for the application developers? So what they've done is they're basically releasing a new version of Java every uh, six months. And that started, as I said, in September of 2017 with Java 9. Right, so that seems like quite a considerable change. It is the change. It's a very considerable change. But it's not as bad as it sounds because... Um, it's not a new version completely every six months. What they've actually done is they've come up with two variants of a release. There's an LTS release and a non-LTS release. Okay, an LTS? Uh, LTS stands for long-term support. Right. So there's, so there's the long-term support and then there's the non-long-term support. Yeah, so if we talk through what they are. Yeah. Um, the non-long-term support are kind of... They're interim releases, they're alpha or beta star releases, they're for people to check out new features. They're only supported for six months though. Okay, so they won't ever be anywhere near a production environment? You'd hope not, because it's only going to have support for six months. So. Okay. Um, whereas the LTS releases are going to be supported for at least eight years from the point of release. Okay, and can you give us examples of which, which releases are LTS yeah. releases? Yeah, sure. So, um, if you look at the moment, the, the ones that have designated LTS, uh, it's Java 8. Um, that will be supported until March of 2025 with a license. Mm -hmm. um, and Java 11 was released in September last year, and that will be supported until 2026, so eight years from its point of release. Okay. Um, I think that pretty much covers off the changes Oracle have made to release cadence. It does. It's probably worth saying that the next one is... Uh, is uh, Java 17 in 2021, so no one's really got to worry about that coming along just yet. Um, but yeah, that is, is the changes that uh, Oracle have made. So, okay, well, thank you. Cheers for joining. Brilliant, thank you very much.